Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your general tarot guidance with me Julie Paul. Hello, welcome, thank you for being here. All right my beautiful people, this is good for, hang on where are we, let's get that one up. This is good for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and cross watching. All right my lovely people, we're going to start off with some wisdom of the oracle to get the themes. This is a timeless reading guys, so whenever you find it, that's when the energies are meant to be. So I'm a bit breathless. I'm packing at the moment and trying to fit in work and YouTube amongst packing to move house. All righty, we've got all the glitters. Imagine, clean it up. I want one more and thinker. Okay, let's have a little look at these. Okay, I wanted to pull that camera so you could just see me pulling the cards. All right, so which one came out first? All the glitters. Okay, this is a message here, all right, about looking at what is real, what is an illusion, what is fake, what you think is all glittery and shiny and maybe a distraction is actually not, um, not that glittery at all. It could be, but it is about examining it carefully. Dig a little bit deeper. Is it gold or when you scratch the surface, it's tin underneath, yeah? That could be a person coming across as one thing when actually there's something else. That could be something you've been offered as looking, oh, that looks all shiny and wonderful, but actually is it? Because with the clean up and the thinker, this would suggest that this, all the glitters, is fool's gold, is fake, okay? So we're gonna, first of all, think about it. We're gonna really think. Number 44, that's a master number of foundations. So really digging deep and having a good think about, is this good for me? Is this really mm, sparkly and shiny? Or is it not really for me, okay? <clears throat> just looking at my face, look a bit washed out. I'm not washed out. I just haven't had time to put the lippy on and all the... Bear with me, all right? By the time I come back for your next readings, I will have moved and settled because I'm recording these in advance and we will be in a new office and it will be oh, a lot easier. All right, so what do we need to clean up, Sagittarius? Number 21, that's a three. Threes are about expansion and growth. So we need to clean up something that looks a bit shiny and isn't. Or, oh, they're just giving me the opposite. Okay, maybe it's meant to be shiny and it's got a bit dull and it needs a bit of a polish, okay? So imagine, imagining what do I want to create? If I'm cleaning something up and getting rid of something, what am I then creating in its place? Because the universe doesn't like a void. You create a void, something else will come in and fill it, all right? So we're imagining what we want to fill it. Let's bring the camera down straighten things up somewhat okay so all the glitters thinking it through then cleaning it up so is it should it be glittery and shiny and it's got dull and it needs a good clean is it that it was shiny but underneath it was bleh, and we're going to get rid of it and then we're going to be imagining what we want to put in its place all right let's go to the tarot of dreams so all the cards I use are linked below in the description box along with my website if you want to book in with me. I am open for personal and private sessions. Okay. All right. So we have the King of Wands popping out. That's you. You. Very Sagittarius energy. Another fire. Eight of Wands. Emperor. Wow. That's the King of Wands up a notch and the six of coins being open to receive. How lovely, let's pull them in. Okay, so what we've got here is a very strong message of you, Sagittarius, being absolutely in your power. This is wonderful, this is very strong. I kind of feel the way I've separated those out. It's, I'm looking at it all, I'm thinking about it. I'm stepping into my power to take action right? The King of Wands is so action orientated. He's the entrepreneur. He is amazing at creating exactly what he wants. 
and taking it forward. The Eight of Wands is the minor arcana equivalent of the chariot. So this is forward movement, nothing in the way now. We can move forward and we can clean it up. This is also news, good news coming in. So we are stepping into even more power now to do that cleaning it up and sorting it out and that might be getting rid of friendships, relationships, patterns, behaviours, whatever it is for you, Sag, okay? And then we're stepping into imagining a very different world for ourselves that is much more mm, in the receiving. The six of coins is balance, more coming in than is going out, just for a, a change, you know? So, you are in this power and you are creating something pretty phenomenal. Let's find out some more. Uh, this is the legacy of the tarot. Okay. Tell me more for my Sagittarius, please. What is this all about? It's going to mean different things, different people, because it's a general reading, of course. All right. We've got the star. <laughs> oh, you are shining brightly. You absolutely are shining brightly. Okay. This is mm, a dichotomy here, all right, but we've got the sun. You're going to sort out with the seven of swords, and I want that one as well, the knight of swords. Okay, so the star with all the glitters, okay. Let's say, for example, you want to be a big YouTuber and be a star. You can absolutely do this. You've got the entrepreneur energy here and you can shine brightly. But there is a lot of other stuff that goes on behind the scenes of being a YouTuber. Let me tell you, there's a lot of work. There's a lot of planning and organizing and a lot of business and marketing and all sorts of other stuff under the surface that when you dig a bit deeper, you're going to go, oh, it's a lot more than I thought, a lot more involved than I thought. Doesn't mean I can't do it, but you may feel a little bit stuck for a minute, right? With that eight of swords kind of going, oh, I don't, I don't know how to do that. I need to think about it. All right. Like when I started my YouTube channel in 2018, I didn't know YouTube. I had to start from scratch. And one of these days I'm going to create a kind of course for you on how to do that if you want to, you know, build and develop a YouTube channel and show you how. But yeah, you have to learn a lot, but you can move it forward. But you will find that that eight of swords is kind of the lack of knowledge, perhaps. All right. In terms of the thinker cards there, I'm going to have to think this through. I need to plan. I need to strategize. I need to learn. And then you can move forward. All right. So you will move forward because both of these energies are opposite. This is I'm stuck and this is I'm moving forward. So this can be a little bit push me, pull you. I move two steps forward and one step back. All right. But that's OK. I'm still one step further forward. But just allow that kind of stop start. All right. It feels like a stop start. But then it's a stop. It's a start. Boof, we go. OK, so we've got a bit of a stop start energy here. Then we're moving forward by cleaning it up. Now, that might be cleaning up your thinking. OK, perspective is everything. If we decide that something is ultra easy and then we we hit something that's a bit difficult, we can give up or we can change that thinking and say, it's OK, it's nothing I can't figure out. I'll learn it because I'm in my emperor energy with the sun. That's a fantastic combination. You know, you have the power, you have the light, you have the positivity, you have the energy and you are cleaning up anything and everything that is in the way. You're sorting it out. There's no doubt about this. So with this imagine, I'm imagining what I want to create here. I'm open to receive and it's starting to come through. The Seven of Swords is a card predominantly about strategy. Let's do this properly. Let's do it with a plan, especially when we've got these two very strong energies of I can make this happen. I can make anything happen. So have a plan, have a strategy. Now that seven of swords <clears throat> is also, excuse me, linked in with that all that glitters because all that glitters is often what's fake, what's <clears throat> on the surface, but dig deep and it's 
Yeah, right. And this Seven of Swords is the realisation of that. It's to say, OK, that was a bit of a false start, maybe. Um, but it's OK because I'm moving into the Knight of Swords energy, which is the action to clarify, communicate, reach out, sort it out. We can move forward. So let's find out a little bit more. All right. So I use the example there of YouTube, but it could be your own business. It could be a friendship, a relationship. It could be a habit or behavior. However, you you think okay whatever's going on for you in your world all right so we've got the magician another energy <coughs> excuse me another energy with the magician of i can do it i can make anything happen if i can imagine it i can create it what i think about i bring about so i'm in my power everything's about power here ten of swords so we're ending the struggle we are ending it. This is lovely. So anything here from that all the glitters that turned out to be a false, fake, betrayal, dishonest kind of thing, we are completing. All right. Now, you might find that you're smarting a little bit, you know, a little bit of an ouch because the Ten of Swords is like, oh, that hurt. But it's finished now. We're moving into a different energy. You've got the king and the queen of wands. So this could be both very strong Sagittarius energies. This could be about uh, a friendship, a relationship. This could be... Mm, I'm just asking. Okay, they're just showing me one scenario where this is a person at work um, for some of you that has kind of promised you the earth and delivered nothing. You're coming into realisation of it. You're coming back into balance. The thing is, when we see the king and the queen of the same suit, we have this lovely balance of masculine and feminine energy. And these, the king and queen are ones, these are the most powerful of the, the kings and queens in terms of their entrepreneur energy, make things happen, fire, passion, enthusiasm, not giving up, self-belief, total belief belief in their dreams and their goals and themselves and self-worth very very strong here and uh, underneath like securing it rooting it all down is the hermit which is very strongly about what's right for me me never mind everybody else what's right for me now when I say never mind anybody else that doesn't mean I don't care about anybody else it means that I'm following my own path I'm following my own instincts I am on a journey here to something significant important and special that's very real that's very positive with that sun shining on there and this you know I'm recording this in Virgo season I'm recording it ahead of time um, but this feels like it's unfolding in Virgo season but this is a timeless reading so I want you to apply it to the time where you find the reading when it resonates sometimes readings especially mine don't always resonate at the time but I will often have people say a week or two later I came back to this and it's spot on now it didn't really resonate at the time other people say spot on at the time it's all about when it feels right for you okay so you are moving through this kind of any fakeness any falseness around you any false beliefs around you they're coming out they're being cleaned up and you are imagining a much more empowered powerful world for yourself in a very positive way it's very beautiful this is a very positive reading okay now then let's have a final message from the angels final message for Sagittarius please final message for my Sag you want that one okay all right transformation so this is beautiful with the thinker and the clean it up and the imagining you're in this transformative energy where you are releasing all that doesn't serve you you are transforming into your greatest self your greatest life you're making shifts and changes a lot of this could be internal it doesn't have to be in the environment but there is a big shift here in a very powerful and positive way for you Sagittarius so that's what I have for you my beautiful people I hope it helps thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me have an amazing day week I'll be back in a couple of weeks time and I will see you then Okay, you take care, lots of love. Bye-bye.